Hello everyone, this is Teacher Marichu and welcome to our learning activity on MathBox for Senior High School Pre-Calculus Quarter 1 Week 4 B. The objective is for the learner to determine the standard equation of a hyperbola. Let's get started! For the generalizations, the hyperbola with center at the origin has the standard equation x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1 if the transverse axis of the hyperbola is on the x-axis. So as you can see here in figure 1. And... If the transverse axis of the hyperbola is on the y-axis, we have here figure 2 and the equation or the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola is given to be y squared all over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. Figure 1, this is the transverse axis is the x-axis in the center is in the origin and the center the vertices and the foci are collinear with each other on the x-axis so the equation is this one the standard equation for the standard equation of a hyperbola in which the transverse axis is the y-axis we have it here okay let me read the distance from the center to each vertex is a unit. Let's go back here. If this is the center and this is the vertex, then it's a unit. And from the center going to the left, to the vertex, we have another a unit. So it's 2a. The distance from the center to each co-vertex is b units. Let's try here. In this case, the co-vertex is on the x-axis from the center going to the co-vertex on the right side of the x-axis is b units then from the center going to the co-vertex here it's another b unit so meaning the distance or the line segment the measure of the line segment between the two co-vertices is 2b or that is the length of the conjugate axis the distance from the center to each focus is c units, where c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Let me illustrate this one. From the center going to the focus, that is c units. And from the center going to another focus here, it is also c units. For any point on the hyperbola, the absolute value of the difference of its distances from the two foci is 2a. Let me illustrate here. This is, say for example, let's have this point here and connect this point P to F1. Then this point connect it to F2. Now if we take the absolute value of the difference between F2 point P and P F2, then that is equal to twice twice a or meaning that is the distance between the two vertices okay i'll just leave you the example one let me just focus it here the standard find that standard equation of the hyperbola with foci at five zero and negative 5, 0, and whose difference of the distances from any point on it and the foci is 6. So the solution is here. Then, solution, example 2. And the solution, you can just pause this video if you wish to explore the explanation of this example. Because I'm excited to guide you through all the exercises. Okay. So let me go over the exercises. We have five numbers to solve. So let's start with exercise number one. 
for psi at 10, 0 and negative 10, 0 and the difference of the distances from any point on it and the psi is 8. What are we going to do? Let me read first the direction. Determine the standard equation of the hyperbola with the following given properties. So this is the given property. So for the solution of number 1, we have it here. So we're given the psi with the coordinates. So we can find C. And C is 10. C squared, therefore, is 100. Then, the difference of the distances from any point on the hyperbola and the foci is 8. So, we set 2A equals 8. Then, dividing both sides by 2, A equals 4. Then, A squared is 16. So, we have found A squared. We have also C squared. We need another one, B squared. In order to get B squared or B, yes, B squared, we have to remember that it says in the generalization what property of the hyperbola is that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Then, isolating B squared, we have B squared equals C squared minus A squared. And we have C squared equals 100, then A squared is 16. Difference is 84. So we have b squared equals 84. Hence, the standard equation of the hyperbola is x squared over 16 minus y squared over 84 equals 1. You might be wondering why it's like this. Let's try to check first the solution. First, it's given that the foci are at coordinates 10, 0 and negative 10, 0. So where those foci lies or lie? The foci lie, is it in the x-axis or on the y-axis? Obviously, it's in the x-axis. So the two foci is on the x-axis. So, therefore, the transverse axis is the x-axis. So, we have <clears throat> the minuend x squared all over a squared, which is 16. Minus the subtrahend y squared all over 84 equals 1. Moving on to example 2, I mean to exercise number 2. We're given vertices at 0, 9. And 0, negative 9, co-vertices at 4, 0, and negative 4, 0. Here, solution, well, obviously, the center of this hyperbola is at the origin. And based from this given condition, we notice that the vertices lie on the y-axis. So, meaning... Our transverse axis is the y-axis. Then, what about the co-vertices here? The co-vertices, we have a hint actually by the vertices and the co-vertices. So, the vertices 0, 9, we have a equals 9. So, we can get a squared to be 81. In the co-vertex 4, 0, it's b, 0. In the co-vertex, so meaning b is 4 and b squared is 16. We get what we want. So hence, the standard equation of the hyperbola is y squared over 81 minus x squared over 16 equals 1. Moving on to number 3. We have co-vertices at 2, 0 and negative 2, 0. And the difference of the distances of any point from the foci is 12, meaning from the hyperbola going to the foci is 12, the distance, the difference of the distance. Okay. It says here the hyperbola centers at the origin, that's true, and based on the given co-vertices and the transverse axis of the hyperbola is on the y-axis, y, y co-vertices 2, 0. The points lie on the x-axis. Co-vertices. Co-vertex. 
the two co-vertices are on the x-axis. So obviously, the vertices and the foci are on the y-axis. So the transverse axis of the hyperbola is on the y-axis. Now, this is the co-vertex 2, 0. So we have b equals 2, b squared equals 4. And it says here that the difference of the distances from any point in the hyperbola going to the foci is 12. So we set 2a equals 12. That will give us 2a over 2 equals 12 over 2 or a equals 6. a squared is 36. Hence, the equation of the hyperbola is y squared over 36 minus x squared over 4 equals 1. We're done with number 3. For number 4, foci at 0, 10, and 0, negative 10. Covertices at B0 and negative 6. I'm sorry, covertices at 6, 0, and negative 6, 0. So, okay. Where does the transverse axis lie? Y axis, Y. Foci is 0, 10. This is on the, the y-axis, co-vertex at the x-axis, at the conjugate axis, x-axis. So then, vertices, we can even, yeah, we will, we will know the, the vertices. It's still on the y-axis. So the transverse axis of the hyperbola is on the y-axis. So since foci are given, then we have c equals 10. c squared is 100. Then, we are given co-vertices where we can get the value of b, which is equal to 6. b squared equals 36. Then, by the property of the hyperbola that c squared equals a squared plus b squared, then we isolate a squared and that's equal to c squared minus b squared. So, c squared equals 100 minus 36. a squared is... 64. Since the transverse axis is on the y-axis, then the equation of the hyperbola is y squared over 64 minus x squared all over 36 is equal to 1. The last one, we have here the foci f at negative 13, 0 and positive, I'm sorry, negative square root of 13, 0 and Square root of 13, 0. Vertices given, negative 2, 0, and 2, 0. So, obviously, the transverse axis is on the x-axis. Then, we have the c from the foci. So, c is square root of 13. c squared is 13. And from the vertices, we have a equals 2. a squared is 4. Then moving on to find the value of b squared, we have c squared minus a squared, that's 13 minus 4 equals 9, so b squared is 9. Hence, the standard equation of the hyperbola is x squared over 4 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. For the enrichment activity, you can follow the link here or you can simply click the link below the description in this video so that you can explore more properties of hyperbola and more examples. This concludes our learning activity for this particular competency. So this is Teacher Marichu saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. God bless everyone.